Hey guys, Josh here and welcome back to Rune Factory 5 and today's the very first day of winter so I'm super excited to go outside and see what the world looks like when it's covered with snow and also on the third day of winter is the snowman competition so I'm not too sure what that's gonna be about but that sounds pretty fun so I'm looking forward to that event and also I did complete the main storyline I have a little <laughs> announcement I have something to tell you about that and I've also unlocked Rigbart's labyrinth uh, you can unlock with the extra making, uh, however I didn't get the chance to go yet, so I'm gonna go there today. Also, I just want to change the BGM because right now if I go outside it's gonna be the Tides of Destiny music, so I'm gonna put it back to the Rune Factory 5 music so we can hear what the winter theme sounds like. And also maybe I should wear some kind of wintry outfit, I guess, so let me just change. I think I'm gonna go with Azel's outfit from Rune Factory Tides of Destiny because it looks kind of like a winter coat I guess so yeah let's go outside and see how everything looks so here's winter guys let's just listen to the music a little bit I like it it's so festive it sounds very Christmassy and it's snowing today which is pretty good it's very cloudy and everything is covered by snow so much better than the, <laughs> the winter we had in Olive Town this is so cute, we even still have a few flowers, very small flowers, but we do have something. And let's see the main street. So the trees, they still have leaves, but they're covered with snow. And yeah, we still have little flowers here, little kind of white roses or something, I'm not too sure. And same here I don't think they're roses but anyway cute little flowers that managed to grow in winter I want to see what the beach looks like I don't know if there's gonna be snow on the beach oh I want to see what the lake looks like at the north of Rig I don't know if it's gonna be frozen I don't think so but yeah here's the beach yeah I think the color of the sand is a little bit different it's a little bit kind of d darker I guess and the ocean is pretty much the same. I like the snow on the palm trees as well. I'm gonna see if Beatrice is home. I just want to give her a little strawberry jam. Since I'm done with the main storyline now, I'm gonna focus on trying to marry her. I think my relationship is pretty good now with her. I'm at almost nine hearts. I think there's still a few cutscenes I have to go through, a, little, a few heart events to go through before I can propose and confess and everything. Uh, but let's see how she's doing. So I'm gonna give her strawberry jam. And oh, she, oh, <laughs> she actually gave me a gift back and I just gave it back to her by accident. Sorry about that. And I wanna see if I can do a confession. Oh, she asks me if I like reading. I'm gonna say yes, even though I don't read too, too much. And she said, yes, of course, reading is nice. What kind of stories do Beatrice like? I don't know why she's spelling her name in English like this. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's a glitch. Um, I don't know with the two underscores. Anyway, <laughs> she says, I like stories where a princess and a knight fall in love together. But even though I'm a princess, I don't think that's my fate. Oh no, Beatrice. By the way, um, so I can ask her to come with me. I can do my love confession. So that's what I'm going to try to do. She says, um, are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she's talking about squeezing my cheeks. Um, yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't think I'm serious, unfortunately. So I think my relationship is high enough, but I think I still need to trigger some events. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys what happened when I finished the game. So a week ago, I did a live. Oh, look at the little snowman here. Oh, that's so cute. That's such a nice little detail. little snowman. Can I? destroy it oh yes i can oh okay so i'm gonna tell you what happened so last sunday i did a live stream where i was planning to finish the game and i went through the last two or three dungeons i was just like kind of rushing through everything and i made a lot of progress and then the game crashed so i had to go back and like 
do a few things all over again but then I decided to make a video and record the last bus the last area and like the ending cutscene and translating everything and that was a pretty long video I had like almost two hours of footage and I was just trying to you know cut it down to like 30 minutes or so and make it kind of <laughs> not too long okay so the lake doesn't freeze I think the color of the water might have changed a little bit maybe it's a little bit more kind of bluish kind of turquoise kind of green I don't know I'm really bad with colors it's probably not making sense but I feel like it's a little bit different than before so yeah I finished the game I was trying to make a short nice video and it took a really long time to edit the video so I took a break usually I always edit my videos in like just one day so I took a break and then the next day I went on to record another video and I had to do some cleaning up on my hard drive because I only had like 50 gigabytes left and that was not enough for like recording and stuff so anyway I had to do some cleaning up and I always delete my old footage that I don't use like once I'm done with a video I just delete the, the footage oh we've got a little cutscene so that was unexpected so let's see so Priscilla is saying I really wonder if Beatrice is gonna be fine to go in the forest all by herself I'm worried about it, but she said she was able to do it by herself, so there's not much we can do. And I'm asking, what's happening with Beatrice? Ah, Josh, so actually, she went into the forest to pick up fruits all by herself. Well, I, she was just home five minutes ago. <laughs> so Lucy and I thought we should all go together, but... Yeah, that's right, so we didn't want her to go in the middle of the forest by herself. But Beatrice, that's her personality, always just by herself, right? Oh, I see. Did she really go there by herself? And she didn't tell me anything. Of course, I'm worried about her, so I'm gonna go see how she's doing. Yes, so let's do that. If Josh is going, I'm gonna be relieved. So let's go see how Beatrice is doing. I wasn't expecting that, but yeah, let's do that. So I'm assuming she's probably gonna be in Whisper Forest. Yeah, there's a little icon there. So let's go do that. Okay, so to continue my story, so I was cleaning up my hard drive and I think you guys can figure out where I'm going with this. I accidentally deleted the footage of the last bus and like the whole ending and I was so I'm a little bit mad <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed in myself I don't know and I don't have any save like before that point so I can't it's not like I can just redo it yeah pretty disappointed <laughs> in myself uh, but yeah there's still plenty of things to do so I'm gonna do the labyrinth and I'm gonna try to marry Beatrice and yeah there's lots of end game content but yeah, with that being said let's see what happens with the cutscene I wish there was snow here as well but that's not the case and there's lots of monsters. Hopefully Beatrice is doing fine. But no matter what, I'm here to save her. So I came here quite quickly, but Beatrice is not here. Oh, 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 oh. Beatrice. Oh, she's more... She's deeper in the forest. She says, let me go. Or you're gonna capture me. Beatrice! Josh? Please, let Beatrice go. So, that shouldn't be too much of a hard fight. Level 112. Level 112. Yeah, that was pretty quick. Actually, I think she's strong enough to beat him by herself. Oh, and she's back with her ridiculous pumpkin head. So, did you get hurt? Yes. Well, yes, I didn't get hurt. But what about you, Josh? Josh, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> and it seems like she's mixing things up a little bit. So let's hope she's fine. I hope she got the fruits she was looking for at least. So I just explained everything to her and she says, Oh, is that right? Priscilla and Lucy. Both of them were worried for you. We can talk later, but for now, Josh, just check this out. Just all by myself, I picked up so many of them, so many fruits, and I'm thinking to myself, these are just regular 
wild strawberries, but Beatrice seems very happy about it, so <laughs> I guess that's fine. Uh, and I just gave her strawberry jam like just a few minutes ago, but <laughs> she still went out to get more strawberries. And now we're back in Rigbart. So I'm glad, I'm glad she didn't get hurt. And she says, are you... <laughs> gonna keep silent to Reinhardt because if he knows what happened, he's gonna be very worried Yes, I got it and as well as these other two so Lucy and Priscilla. Oh They're right here And Lucy says oh you came back. Yay, so nothing bad happened and Beatrice asking did you guys worry about me? Of course Priscilla says and Lucy says it's better if you don't go out of town. And if Josh didn't go out of his way to go and see you, we would have went. Everybody. Hey. Yay, yay. <laughs> She's squeezing their cheeks. Wow, you're too close. You're too close. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, Beatrice. So it seems like you're happy and you're very energetic. So that's all good. And I'm laughing. And yeah, Beatrice is doing really good. And Priscilla says, oh, there's so many field wild strawberries. Actually, we wanted to tell you about our secret spot. And also they're really good to eat just like this. But if we make a syrup, it's going to be even more delicious or maybe even some jams. And about this, yes, so that's my secret. All right, so what? You're not telling us what it is? She's just gone without without telling us. So Beatrice is fine and she got some ingredients. Now let's go tell Simon. Why, wait, why would I have to tell Simon? I'm not too sure. What, what does Simon has to do with any of that? Okay, so I don't think the next part of the event is available today uh, because there's no nothing else uh, but I'm gonna go to the labyrinth and maybe after this event is completely done who knows maybe I'm gonna be able to confess to Beatrice that would be pretty good all right so let's check out this labyrinth oh there's actually oh no it's just just a random chest but it was very well located and uh, maybe we can try out that new spell right away and see what that does, so that's a darkness spell. Dark snake. Okay, so let's try that. Maybe instead of this. Oh yeah, it moves like a snake. All right, so now let's save just in case. Oh, actually I think the level of the monster is gonna be a little bit too high because I leveled up all of the monsters. Uh, anyway, let's see. But I think they're probably gonna be like level 200 or something. So, yes, let's enter. It's my first time here. I think it's the equivalent of like Sharon's maze in... Oh my gosh, the 340. <laughs> oh my... Ah! Okay, I think, yeah, I'm gonna have to just lower their level because that's gonna be impossible. All right, so I'm just gonna put the enemy's level back to normal. So I'm level 140 something right now, so... Level 120, yeah, so it's gonna be a little bit more reasonable like this. But as you can see, if you want to increase the difficulty, I think, I'm not sure what the maximum level is in this game, but you can increase the level of the monsters like so many times. Uh, so as you can see, if I increase it one time, they were going to 340. So if I increase it more and more, like you can, <laughs> you can really grind and play for a long time if you wanna reach a higher level. I like the music. So I think every floor is going to be kind of like a different theme with different monsters and like kind of like a different dungeon, right? Oh, let's try our new darkness skill. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of underwhelming. I think my darkness skill um, is not too high. So my dark spells are kind of oh, zero damage against these guys actually. Oh, actually, yeah, I think they're quite resistant to just magic in general. Oh, yeah, actually, I've never used this feature until <laughs> very recently. But actually, if you talk to the seed member inside Rigbard's building, 
Um, they're gonna come and heal you. I think it's once a day. Like, if you're kind of close to dying, they're just gonna heal you. So, I never used that until, <laughs> until very recently. Like, I didn't even know you could do that. And actually, I knew you could do it, but I wasn't sure how. And... I was just so distracted and thought... I feel like I die in every video. Oh my gosh, 60,000. That's way too much. I was just focused on talking and not watching what I was doing. Why am I embarrassing myself like this in every video? Actually, I think I was trying to heal myself, but instead of pressing X, I was just pressing Y. So I wasn't even using the right skill. And I just got a Dragon Fang, and I think that's pretty good for certain items, uh, for certain weapons. Yeah, hopefully I can find some good items in this dungeon. And I think there's 20 floors for this labyrinth. Oh my gosh, am I gonna die a second time? Yeah, these guys are definitely stronger. I'm also playing on hard difficulty right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, they're actually quite strong. <laughs> Okay, I just need to get rid of that portal. Oh, and they just heal themselves like this. Yeah, I just need to get rid of the portal first, and then I should be good, but I'm also running short on RP. There's just like so many of them, and these mages are healing, so I think I'm gonna give up on this. I'm definitely gonna have a little bit more preparation to do. Um, I don't know if there's any better jewel blade that I could craft. There's actually this one, Autumn Sword, 1,100 attack and 350 magic attack. Um, there's also this one has two elements, it's fire and sword, so that's pretty good. This one doesn't have any elemental. So I feel like this one could be better because it has elemental, but yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna go for this, I'm just gonna have to replenish my RP a little bit. I'm just gonna make some hot milk. That's my go-to recipe for easy RP. Just like this. And now go back here. Alright, so let's make this autumn sword. Uh, let's see how they look. Yeah, they look pretty badass. They look pretty cool. Yeah, anyway, I think I'm gonna go to bed for now. Oh, you know what? Actually, I forgot to do my farming. So, oh yeah, I don't have to water my crops because it's snowing, but I've been planting so many trees every day. Actually, every day I go try to get some tree seeds and yeah, these guys are going to be ready soon. Let me see their percent. So they're 93% grow. Oh, this one 96. Oh, who know? Maybe tomorrow we're going to get a fully grown tree. And over here, we've got lots of strawberries. And Beatrice still took the risk to go into the forest while I had all of this right here on my farm. Alright, so I picked up quite a lot of stuff. I'm probably gonna make back at least the 60k that I lost by dying today. So I'm just gonna plant a few seeds and I think I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Alright, so it's now the next day. It's actually a Rooney day. So you can see these little Roonies floating around. And on these days, everything grows faster. And so we're gonna see, I'm probably gonna have lots of crops again, and my trees are ready, so I've got some grapes. A few grapes per tree. So I've actually gave fire crystals to my dragon a few days ago, so now everything grows like close to three times the regular speed. And yeah, I've been growing these weird crops, actually the... They're just ready today, and I, apparently I think you can throw these at enemies. And I don't know how strong it is, but I have a request to throw one of these. So I'm gonna check that out and see if it's any strong. Alright, so I'm not gonna be able to put everything in there before 8, but let's see how much I can make. So, 69, yeah, so um, I made back at least what I lost by dying. Oh, yeah, my first pineapples as well. Yeah, I grew really a lot of stuff. Also, since it's a Rooney day, I'm gonna go buy some more seeds because everything is gonna grow super fast. And there's another event with Beatrice uh, right here, so let's take a look at that. So, here we are in front of the big tree and there's two tables, I'm not too sure, I'm not too sure what's happening there. Oh, I think maybe Beatrice cooked something and... Okay, everybody, please be quiet. Today, this person requested for us to gather here. So, 
yeah, I didn't play for a little while, so I didn't remember the beginning of that heart event. Uh, but I think Beatrice wanted to cook something for everybody, and that's why she's gathering everybody here today. So, alright, so Beatrice, go ahead. And I think she's gonna show us. Actually, she wanted to make bread, so. So she says, everybody, good morning, I'm Beatrice. And she says, I came to this town very suddenly, but everybody welcomed me. And yeah, everybody has been very kind to me. And my big weakness is that I don't know what's normal. And I've been worrying a lot of people, I think. And Priscilla is thinking, it doesn't look like the usual Beatrice. And uh, Lucy says, right, well, she's thinking, right. It's like she has a lot of power or something. So on this day, I want to give you all something to thank you guys. So please wait a little bit. And there it is. Oh, what's that? That looks pretty good. Oh, is it some sweets? It smells so delicious. And Reinhardt is thinking, did she just go and buy this? That's amazing, Beatrice. Did you make this by yourself? Is it a small little bread? No, what is that? It looks like a kind of unusual sweet bread. So what is it? Uh, Randolph says it's all of her idea. And I didn't do anything. And she made the dough and got the strawberries. I was really surprised when I heard this idea, but I think it turned out pretty great. Beatrice, you really did your best. Yes, that's right, Beatrice. You made the bread with your hands. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. So hopefully everybody will like it and it's not gonna have some kind of weird taste. This is her first bread. It's so good. My, I can't stop my hands. And I'm gonna take one too. Oh, this is so good. Inside there is something sour and sweet. And the outside is crunchy, but the interior is all soft. Oh, I think everybody's enjoying it. I'm so <laughs> proud of Beatrice. Yeah, and she made some strawberry jam inside. Palmo says that inside his mouth is like a strawberry festival. That's amazing. I didn't know you could use the wild strawberries in such a way. Everybody looks very satisfied, so I'm happy too. So, yeah, please enjoy. And Simone says she's been in this town for so long, but she's never had that kind of bread. I mean, it's just a bread with jam inside, <laughs> but... Oh, and Murakumo is saying, should we make this our town food, our famous town food? Maybe we could do this. Ho ho ho, but there's only Beatrice who can do it. Yes, there's no way we could do this every day. By the way, this bread, what's its name? What's its name? So, yeah. What should it be? Mmm, Randolph, Yuki. So, Beatrice, it's for you to choose, right, Randolph? Yes, that's correct. So... So this special bread, I'm gonna call it Beatrice Shu. So it's a mix between Beatrice and like Shu together. From now on, on special day, we're gonna eat this. That was really good. That was a really nice heart event, actually. That was pretty interesting. Oh, and now we're all alone with Reinhardt and Beatrice. Oh, I think Reinhardt <laughs> figured out that she went by herself pick some strawberries reinhardt i'm sorry for not telling you anything i thought you would be opposed to it and he says of course it's outrageous to want to go in the forest all by yourself oh reinhardt please don't get angry beatrice was just really desperate to show her gratefulness to everybody in town so that's why she did this so reinhardt please also eat some so how is it and he says, it's really kind of penetrating deep into my chest. So I think he likes it. And Beatrice says, thank you, Reinhardt, more than anybody else. I'm so thankful for you. You don't have to say such wasteful words. Josh, I've been causing you so much trouble. You helped me and you worked really hard. 
It was really an oversight on my part this time. When I think about you being by Beatrice's side, I feel very relieved. Beatrice is laughing and she says, yes, Josh is someone we can count on. No, 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 not that much. And Reinhardt says, but Beatrice Shu, right? You've come really a long way to be able to make this. You've come really a long way. And Simon even just said we can now make this the specialty of Rick Barth. And then I think Reinhardt says that Beatrice has grown so much since they visited Rick Barth and he's having some difficulties dealing with it. And I have something to discuss with Josh, so Reinhardt, would you please let us chat in private? I think definitely after this event I can probably confess. So, well, <laughs> aren't you getting a bit close? Josh, thanks to you, I was able to make some very delicious bread. And everybody was happy, even Reinhardt. From the bottom of my heart, I'm really, really grateful. Beatrice, Josh, please, please continue to be kind to me. Yes. That's cute. That was a cute little thank you. So, okay, let's try to confess to her, hopefully. Okay, so as you can see now, there's plenty of events I can trigger with all the different townspeople, but I want to go see Beatrice. So she's home. I'm just gonna <laughs> try to be careful. I don't want to trigger another event, otherwise this video is gonna be two hours long. And let's see if I'm able to make my confession. That'll be pretty, pretty good if I can. Oh, no, she's still saying the same thing as before. She still thinks I'm joking after all we've been through. After I've saved her life, she's still... Yeah, not quite yet. All right, so I'm gonna buy some seeds, as I said earlier, because it's a ruiny day today, so everything's gonna grow super fast. Um, maybe I can go for leeks. I think they're a pretty good way to make money, so... I don't know. I'm gonna buy... <laughs> I think I bought maybe a little bit too many seeds, but... Yeah, I'm gonna plant that. And also I had the request to throw these spiky things at an enemy. So we're gonna see how that goes. I'm not sure if we had that same fruit in our previous Rune Factory games. I don't remember. But yeah, apparently if you throw that at some enemies, it could be kind of strong. So we've got a monster here. Oops right here and now oh it is pretty strong well it's not the strongest enemy but <laughs> it did some damage and now i should be good with my request yeah quest clear actually i have another request which is to beat three griffons so maybe i can do that strong all right so let's see if it's any good against these griffons Yep, <laughs> it's really not doing a lot of damage against these guys, so I'm not sure. I don't know. Now they're like level one, so I don't know if you level up the fruits, if they're going to be any stronger. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm just trying to pick this up. Okay, all right. Okay, so I'm just going to beat up these Griffons very quickly. All right, so I'm good like this. So now let's just fulfill our request. So as a reward, there's going to be some new flower seeds. And for the Griffons, I'm not too sure it's gonna be a surprise. I think I'm gonna have to talk to Murakumo for the Griffon quest because he gave me the quest in person. And there's a new request. And I need to harvest a big flower, so I'm gonna have to use a Gigantizer and put that on my crops to get a big one. And I'm just gonna talk to Murakumo for the Griffon quest. And let's see if I get anything good. Oh, oh, just a little antidote. So, all right, so I'm just gonna go do some farming and some little chores, and I'm gonna see you guys for the snowman competition. All right, it's now 11, so I'm gonna start the snowman competition, and yeah, let's see how it goes. So, Simon is gonna explain the rules. And so basically you need to make a snowman as big as possible and you can move with the L stick and to choose the direction. So if you hit the blue snowballs, it's gonna make your snowball a little bit bigger and if you get the green ones, it's gonna be 
quite a bit bigger and if you get the orange one it's gonna be even bigger and then if you get the purple one it's gonna speed up and also if you get the gold one this one is a surprise she's not telling me but I'm just guessing it's gonna be even bigger and then if I hit the woolly it's gonna make my snowman smaller so I need to make sure I avoid them and yeah so I need to make sure I don't hit them and that's pretty much it so let's see how that goes and so you just move oh wow that's really fast <laughs> so you just move the, the left stick I don't know why I thought it would be kind of like you know the speed at which you make the snowman in Animal Crossing I thought it was gonna be kind of similar to that but no, it's super quick and the snowballs change every few seconds oh oh yeah oh, okay so yeah you really need to make sure you avoid like this big wool is running after me so <laughs> I need to speed up, so if I get the purple one, I should speed up. Oh, wow, whoa, doo, 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 doo. that's so fast, <laughs> okay. And, okay. Oh my gosh, and there's more and more woolies. That's really fun, oh, that's a nice event, actually. Also, you can see on the minimap where the things are, so now there's more and more orange snowballs. There's some, um, there's no purple and I can't see in front of me anymore, but <laughs> that's a pretty big ball. Let's see if I'm able to win. I guess that's not really a snowman. It's more like a snowball competition than a snowman competition, I guess. So yeah, she's gonna announce the result. Let's see. So in third position, we've got Julian with 2.54 meters good job julian and number two we've got beatrice Ooh, congrats beatrice 2.36 meter what about me hopefully i'm number one let's see yes oh i didn't win a lot of events so far but 3.24 meters josh thank you so much thank you so much Amazing! <laughs> All right, and let's see what kind of prize we've got. Oh, so I've got this sword, which is—it's like the one-handed version of the dual blades I had before making my new weapon. I don't know if you guys hear this or if it's just my earphones that are glitching, but there's some weird, weird noises coming out of the game right now. Um, okay, yeah, recipe bread. So I've got nine recipe bread. And I also have this gummy which improves my uh, physical strength by one point. Woohoo! And yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty much it for today, guys. I feel like we did a lot of things today. Um, hopefully, in a few videos, I'm gonna be able to confess to Beatrice. And also, I'm gonna make sure to try to go back to that labyrinth. I think I'm just gonna have to make some better equipment but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and once again i'm sorry that i did not upload the ending i'm so disappointed in myself but yeah if you want to see more rune factory 5 content like this make sure you click like and subscribe and i'm gonna see you all in the next video